what's up everybody welcome to a new video in today's video we're going to be talking about the best instazood alternative of 2022 for those who don't know back in 2017 2018 sometimes even 2019 we were using instazood.com instazood.com was a place where we could actually use uh us this software as an instagram bot and this was one of the Instagram bots that grew and really became one of the most well-known softwares out there. Um, it gained a lot of attention from a lot of people, and uh, a lot of people were using it, along with me. The cool thing about Instazood, although it was expensive, um, it, it got the job done at the time. And then slowly, as time went on, the software just got worse and worse and worse and worse. And I'm just going to be honest. Now, I'm very thankful for the time that it gave us, but unfortunately, you could see here, it's just a like a blog now. If you want to get access to the app, they don't even have a, a safe uh, website anymore. Um, so, obviously, you can't, I mean, you can't even access the app, but it's basically a blog now. So, they, they used to be an actual application, like a live application, uh, probably one of the best softwares out there. Um, or used to be at least. Ever since then, uh, Instagram has kind of changed a lot of things in the past few years. And one of the things that they changed is that you cannot use API Instagram bots. And that's exactly what InstaZood used, which was the API, the, a connection via, uh, I guess, the way the software is talk, right, in terms of language. You can't use those anymore. Instagram, you know, stops that kind of behavior. Uh, but what you can use is a different kind of Instagram bots, and this is what the alternative is about. There's a website called botsandapps.gumroad.com. I am an affiliate, so if you decide to end up using this this software or this website, uh, click the link in the description. I'll get a little kickback for each uh, person that signs up. But you could see here, these are basically automator tools that kind of work similarly, and I'll show you guys how they work. So here we have the Instagram like automator, the Instagram follow unfollow automator, and the Instagram comment automator. And to be able to use one of these, let's just say you want to use the follow unfollow automator, you sign up for a subscription, uh, you have your email, and you have your license code, and after you install the software, uh, you, you essentially are able to use it. Now, something that I'll say is uh, I'm not going to show how to install it in this YouTube video because uh, the video would just be too long. Um, if you want to learn how to install the software, I'll leave the link in the description to my website. This is I put up three videos here showing people how to install uh, every single one of the tools. So here's how to install the follow on follow one. Right. So it's this one. And then I have a video on how to install the comment one which is uh, this one right here, and then how to install the like one, right? And trust me, the installation is really, really simple. If you want to just see it for yourself, you can watch the video. I think these videos are, yeah, like three minutes, three-minute videos. Um, they really don't take long at all to install. It's actually really simple once you get the hang of it, but if you need access to that and, and you need a guide on, you know, learning how to install it, you can click on my videos, or you could literally just read the description, um, right here, how to install, and it will show you kind of how to do that. But let's go ahead and jump into Instagram, and I'll show you guys how to use the tool. So let's go ahead and go into Instagram, and the way the tool works is that it works as a extension, a browser extension, right? And so what we can do is, for you know, obviously the way it works is the same way Instazood used to work, where you find a target for your Instagram account or a competitor account, you could do that. So you search a target, let's just say this is your target account here, and then you could either follow from the followers or from the people who like the photos, right? Which is very similar to um, what Instazood was able to do. So if we go over here to, uh, let's say this photo, I can follow the people who liked this photo. And the way I do that is I'll use my tool. So here I have my follow and follow tool, right? And I'll click on the people who followed or the people who liked rather. I'll open up the tool. I'll configure my settings, right? I have, let's say, 70 follows from 5 to 10 seconds. And then I'll hit start, right? And so what it will do is it will go down the line following people, right? And so this is essentially 
uh, a replacement to human being activity. And that's essentially what InstaZood was, right? It replaced human being activity. Instead of us manually sitting here and following each one, we set up a timer that, that works really, really well, right? So every five to 10 seconds, it will go there and hit that follow button, hit that follow button. Now, I don't recommend you leave it at five to 10 seconds. I actually recommend something like a 40 second difference uh, because you need enough time in between each follow so you don't set off the algorithm, right? You don't want to set it off in any way. Um, so I would say like anywhere from 30 as the minimum seconds to 70 as the maximum. And what that will do is that within a course of an hour, it will do all the follows you need for the day to grow your Instagram account. You can already see it, the two here for me, and it will keep going if I continue it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop it right now by uh, shutting this off. Okay. And that's basically it. And that's essentially how it works. So that was the uh, follow on follow, right? Now, the cool thing about the follow on follow is I can follow people not only from a photo that's being liked, but I can also follow people from a actual following. So the followers, the list of followers here, I can do that here too. So let's go ahead and go here and then hit start and it will actually do it for me. And what I'll do is I can like open this up in a new tab here. And then I could sit back and do my own thing. So if I want to go here and click on something or read an article or do whatever, I can do that. Now, I don't think they actually recommend you do that, but I personally do that. Uh, and so I don't have a negative experience with anything like that. So maybe maybe some people have. I'm, I'm really not sure, but I know I haven't. And I've been using it for you know, over a year now. So there's been a lot of different things that I've been, I've been doing for the Instagram, uh, to help it grow. And, um, one of the, actually the main thing, the main thing that helps it push is using these tools. Uh, if it wasn't for these tools, my Instagram wouldn't grow. I know a lot of people can relate, um, because it's really like a, a, a steroid, like it really, really works. Um, and the interesting thing about it is, is that, um, you know, it's it's just the most simple thing, but it works, right? And uh, it gets the job done. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the bot right now, or stop the automator rather, turn it off. And this was the Instagram follow unfollow. I can actually go to the other one here, and this is the comment one, for example. And I'll show you how the comment one works. So you have a switch on top, right, an on and off switch. You have your same settings, right? You have your comment qu quantity. So let's say you want to set up 15 comments. You have your minimum, maximum delay in terms of timing, right? And then you have your comments that you can set. So here is a comment that I set. Right. So I said, hey, guys, I sell Christian T-shirts, phone cases, T-shirts, whatever. Check out my profile. And this is a comment that I sent. Right. And so just like on InstaZood, when you want to write comments on people's profiles, this will do it for you. And the way to find people uh, to comment on is you pull up a hashtag. So here we have the hashtag faith quotes. Right. And so I'm pulling it up and I'm waiting for it to load. OK. And then what I do is I start with a certain photo. Let's say I want to start right here. I want it to start working for me right here. I'll go, I'll pull up the tool, right? And I'll literally just hit this button once. And something that I want to say, guys, is you guys can see, look here. It literally typed the comment and typing it up and it's going to the next one. Uh, something that I want to say is um, you don't have to rush the process. I know I'm doing it pretty quickly here, but that's just for the video. So we don't sit here all day, right? I set it from two to six seconds. But what I recommend for this is the same thing, like every 40 seconds. So from 30 as a minimum to 70 as a maximum will not only get the job done faster, but it will, you know, it will, you know, you'll see results from it. Now, let me go ahead and turn this off just so we can check. Uh, let's type in faith quotes again. So we can check what, you know, posts we've been engaged with by typing our comments. So um, I believe we engaged with this one. So we could scroll down here and you could see here 33 seconds ago, my post was posted. Uh, we can go back here as well. And we could see here 46 seconds ago, my post was posted. Now, the cool thing about this, these tools also is that uh, they're subscription based tools, meaning you don't have to um, you don't have to uh, by any means 
by them permanently, like their, their monthly payments, um, which was one of the benefits of using Instazood. If you guys remember Instazood, you were you were able to choose what kind of tools you want to use. Now, obviously, the setup is not exactly the same. On Instazood, you have to pay for credits, and those credits uh, you can choose towards a certain account, like certain uh, action, whether it be follow, whether it be unfollow, whether it be like, whatever it was, or comment. Right for us. Um, it's not really like that. It's not in terms of credits. It's just like a subscription. So if you sign up, for example, for the like tool, uh, you get to uh, perform likes uh, every single uh, month for the price of nine ninety nine. There's no limit to the amount of likes as long as you know you're in the bounds of your Instagram account. So and what that means is when when we talk about the bounds of your Instagram account, what we're really referring to is. Um, the amount that your account can handle. So, for example, I have an Instagram account that could do 75 files a day. I have another one that could do 200 a day. Now, I generally recommend everybody in a number of about 120 to 150 to keep it safe, but you can kind of do whatever you want, right? Some accounts can handle more than others. It's just different in that kind of regard. Um, like, for example, on the same account that I could do 75 files a day, I could do 30 comments a day. Other accounts, I can only do 25 comments a day. So it's just different, right? And, and the best thing to do is just give it a test. Start off with 50 files a day and see what happens. If that works, then try 50 likes a day. And if that works, uh, well, 50 likes might be a little too much to start off with. Maybe like 25 likes. Um, and then start off with like 20 comments a day and see if that works. And if that works, then just move on to the next day where you do, let's say, like 100 comments follows right and you sit back and wait right and then if that 100 follows works just for that day move on to the next day and then do like 120 and i wouldn't say in keep increasing it because you're gonna get to the point where eventually it's just too, too much for you uh what i would say is just keep it at a certain number and stay there don't get too greedy with it because uh th you know it's just better that way in my opinion um here, let's go on Instagram once again. I kind of want to show how the follow works, uh, or excuse me, the like. So I have the like here, and this is not the actual like because this includes the follow, unfollow, and like. This is one of their tools that they sell uh, for $120. Um, but this tool, you could, like I said, you could do follow, unfollow, and like. But I want to show you how the like works. If you get the like, it will look exactly just like... Uh, how can I say it? The only function it's going to have is the like function, basically. Um, and the way it works is you type in a hashtag, right? So we'll click on faith quotes again. And what we can do is we can actually like all the people that posted here. So let's say I want to start here, right, where I already posted a comment. I can click on the tool. I can check my numbers. So, like, let's say I want... 30 likes from two to seven seconds each like and all I do is click on this once the thing that where I see people mess up on is if they click these buttons more than once because they think that it's not working no it, all you have to do is literally click once the, the the issue that I've had before is when I would click this more than once when it would perform a follow it would do an unfollow it's almost like starting two two tasks running so you only want to click it once okay and that's kind of how it works as the liking so you can see here it liked what four photos now so let me go ahead and turn this off right and I, I always turn off the switch on the top if I want to end it early and I'll go back here and I'll just search faith quotes again and because I just want to double check that it, it's worked for me right and you could check here if I click on this you can see here I liked it right if it's a red heart here that means I liked it now if there's ever a time where like let's say you like a photo right you hit the like button and then it automatically turns back to white like it used to be red and then turns back to white for a second that basically means you're doing way too much on your Instagram account for that day so you want to let off the gas and you want to stop doing what you're doing um, because essentially it's Instagram's way of saying hey like you're you're liking too many people's posts you're following too many people you're doing too much um, and so that's just a, a little FYI, but yeah, this is in my opinion, the best alternative to Instazood, um, in functionality, the cool thing. And like I said, the cool thing about this is that it's modular, right? And so like, if I want to do only follow and following for that month, I can go ahead and grab this tool and then I can cancel the subscription and then I could go ahead and try this one for the next month. And then I could cancel the subscription and I can only use this one for the month. It really just depends on how you want to set it up. Um, but Overall, really, really good tools, really easy to use, and uh, 
Uh, I'll leave my affiliate link in the description if you happen to be interested. Um, but um, this is kind of one of the tools or one of the, the softwares that I use to help grow my Instagram account. If you guys want to see other videos of me growing the Instagram accounts, check out in the links in the uh, it Check out the YouTube channel, right? We got like tons of videos on that kind of cool stuff. All right. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Bye.